Welcome back to the Tide Dairy Hangar. This is Mike, and I'm coming at you with the weekly news and review for October 13th of 2019. And there's a lot of great stuff to talk about. Lots of fun things coming up, so let's get right into it. First thing I want to talk about is the reissue of X Transbots Aegis, which is their Trailbreaker. And I'm going to read you a list of all the improvements they quote unquote allegedly make with this guy. So the new 2.0 Aegis is going to have clear blue tinted windows and clear car lights, rubber tires, shining polished car shell, back of robot can be loaded with MP27 Ironhide. Rocket pack sold separately, improved shoulder joints, rotatable 360 degrees, cartoon color variant. But the thing about this guy is you can get him for, you know, between 80 and 86 bucks, whether you get him at Show Z, TF Direct. Speaking of X Transbots, they have their Death Wish or G2 Dead End revealed. And so this is their G2 Dead End. They're making three sets. But all anyone cares to hear from X Transbots right now, aside from their Springer, is their Motor Master. Now, I start to wonder are they going to make three different Motor Masters? Because they're three different sets. They've got the G1, the G2, the toy, and then they've got a redesigned Motor Master. Hopefully, when they redesign this trailer, they add a couple inches. Whoa, what a difference an inch makes, right? And Keith's a busy little boy with his X Transbots releasing a second run of his savant it's it's one of those obscure characters that you don't see a whole lot of and not many people have it but hey it's the only version out there and so keith is going to capitalize on that for now and when i say capitalize it's a 90 dollars figure keith's not the only one in the reissue business says fans toys is reissuing their road King here and the thing is that a lot of people thought that these leaders are going to be hard to come by come the time they release the last figure and these reissues with fans toys I still believe 100% that they make however many they feel like making and they put out the amount like the, the pre-order amount plus like 10% and that's it and then they hold the rest back for false scarcity. I think Fans Toys plays the false scarcity thing, but there's there's more problems with their older releases, but the reality is this thing's coming back out. I don't really think it's another run. I think it's just, hey, we held back like 500. Now, if you want to get yourself a figure bigger than HasLab's Unicron and you want it to be clear and you you have the lighting effects to make this thing look amazing. Well, Lewin Resources has got you covered with the Clear Optimus Prime. 28 inches. HasLab Unicron is 27 inches. This thing is 28 inches. I think that it's interesting that they're making it clear, but if you could light this up, like special lighting straight up and make this look good in your display, I think it would be probably the centerpiece of your display. But, I don't know. I don't really need a 28 inch prime myself personally, but I think a lot of people love Lou and Resources and what they've done. So, how many of you guys already bought the $50 Ectotron, Ecto 1? Well, they're re re releasing this thing, and it's going to be 40 bucks. I've seen it for $41 or something like that here and there, and I imagine the price will probably go way lower. After a while, I think this is something that was a super niche market item. And I think that now reissuing it is going to do two things. Tick off the people that bought it at first. It's going to lower the price. I mean, they're going to be clearancing this thing out. And I'll buy one on clearance like 30 bucks, but I wasn't in it for 50 And now it's 40 And I don't know. Do you have this? How do you feel about the reissue of this? I think it's a bad move, personally. Speaking of bad move, I don't know if you were following the Siege, Jetfire, Skyfire debacle 
but Walmart marked it down in the stores to 45 bucks. Now online, you can get it for 73, 25. I don't really think the online supplies will last that long at this price. It is a great figure for the price. Now, if it was a $300 figure, I'd be like, heck no, pass. At 73, it's okay. At 45, it's a no-brainer. But if you see it in your Walmart at 45, snatch this up. Before I get into actual siege talk, oi, oi mech, oi mech, I guess that's how you say it, is making their side swipe from the siege line, and I think the side swipe looked good in, in oi mech, or Black Mamba, or Weijang, whoever's behind all this, is KO oversizing this thing and makes it look good. It already looked good, but it's bigger, and for the same price, actually a couple bucks less, it's like 18 bucks instead of 20. You get your bang for your buck. My biggest complaints about Siege was they were smaller. They charge five bucks more for a smaller figure and it's not as, it's good, but you don't get the value. But this thing gives you the value and I like bigger figures and guess who's gonna get this? I've got the Hound here now. I'm gonna review that soon. And I can't wait to get this thing. And yes, before we get into actual chuggity chuggity chug stuff I want to talk about some legends this flame commander from McFans toys this appears to be a, an original mold it doesn't look a whole lot like the Papa toys but I always wondered if Papa toys was part of the McFans toys conglomerate and you know that's still confusing but I think it looks good. It has a, an opening chest compartment that holds the matrix. It looks it looks great. And you have two figures in one. I really like how you get Hot Rod and Rodimus. And you can combine it with this wonderful trailer and make, well, everything you have with the masterpiece, everything you have with all the other iterations. But you get a Target Master. So that's cool. I, I don't think... I've seen a Target Master in the Legends scale yet. McFans Toys is by far my favorite Legends company. Alright, so there's a ton of Chug news going on. I've got to say I'm highly impressed with Ape Face on the, on the right, but the, the, the leader class version of Astro Train bothers me. So let's get into that. So this is a leader size packaging and you can tell <laughs> you can tell you're buying a Voyager figure in a leader size box. It just is so frustrating. Give me the option. Let me buy this thing for 30 bucks and don't give me the little accessory of whatever. The charcoal bay, whatever that thing is that they're charging you more money for. Even Amazon says, leaders are Voyager. I'm gonna sell my leaders for 30 bucks. Go right now, go right now to Amazon and buy leader class Shockwave for 30 bucks because he's a freaking Voyager. So Amazon says, hey, I'm gonna sell these as Voyagers because they're not worth 50 bucks. Add fuel to this fire. Oh my gosh, they were selling Voyagers for $22.50 when the Titan Returns Voyager came out. And look how much bigger the $22 figure is than the $50 figure. And yeah, he's like, he looks better. But he's not nowhere near the size. Nowhere near the scale of leader. He doesn't earn the name leader. What up? Okay, speaking of small, we're going to talk about the Battle Masters here, and this is a rung, and he's got some blast effects. The truth is, I really like these Target Masters with blast effects, and yeah, they look good. Pers personally, it's kind of a fun thing I do with my kids, or one son of mine, and we buy these together, and I get mine and keep it in package, and he opens his and lets me see kind of you know what <laughs> what it's all about here is how we're gonna get the uh, ten dollar set of frenzy rat bath which are gonna be microscopic by the way but they look good 
And here they are loose. They, they do look good. And they look good next to these other micro masters. Spinister. Spinister has had an amazing amount of positive feedback from the community. And guess what? I started looking at my G1 collection. And I said, do I have a Spinister? I was like, that looks so familiar. I think I got one somewhere on this shelf that I don't mess with. And sure enough, I've got one. And uh, I was pretty excited. So I can't wait to do a review of this thing. I think it's a cool figure. Here is the uh, crosshairs. And I think crosshairs looks good. Um, he gets the job done. Better. Ironhide and Ratchet were done a disservice because I don't think this mold matches them at all. I don't think this is an Ironhide or a Ratchet mold in the slightest. So, I mean, I'm sure people will disagree with me, but it's the way I feel. A face looks good. I am excited about it. Uh, I think that we should really expect to see in the next two years Hasbro dial out some of these obscure figures like this and get some more of these. Uh... Next up, I want to talk about these exclusive, these uh, Generation Selects. And I got to say I was perplexed because I couldn't pre-order them anywhere until after the New York Comic Con. And now you can get them everywhere. When I say everywhere... TF Source and Entertainment Earth and Hasbro Poles and wherever else you order these things from. Pretty cool. The third Power Dasher is part of a three pack that gives you two figures you don't care about to get it, which is a chump move. So I kind of see how Hasbro just kind of reissue stuff left and right. I'm waiting for the third Power Dasher. I may never get it because I'm not going to pay 90 bucks or 80 bucks for one Power Dasher. For those of you who like Flames toys, the price is up for $86.99 for this uh, Devastator. And I think it looks cool. It's just not for me. I know a lot of people really like this. A lot of people after it. So, hey, get after it before it sells out. Because the Flame Toy stuff sells out fast. Don't forget, uh, we got about two weeks and we're going to be into this TF Con in DC of 2019. We're going to get Vince DiCola. He really did put out a great soundtrack for that movie in 1986. I do want to take a second to talk about uh, the voice actor Marshall Efron who did pass away this week. And he voiced Hunger connected to this G1 history in the past is someone that we lose. It, it just saddens me. Everybody that worked some, on something that made it so near and dear to our lives, it, it's it's still pain in the community. First thing I want to talk about, so you got this exclusive uh, Chewbacca and C-3PO. Allegedly, the Chewbacca is upgraded with a whole bunch of new stuff to make him look so much different and, and lifelike and more like the movie. Even if you bought two, three, four, five Chewbaccas already, hey, buy this one now. And you got a $20 Chewbacca and a $20 C-3PO. This exclusive is 50 bucks. Why? Because, well, C-3PO comes apart and has add-in pieces to make it look movie accurate. So those extra little extremities coming out are, are pieces you plug in to make it look like he fell apart. So you can throw him in a backpack and carry him on Chewbacca. And IG-11 is a figure that was really made based off IG-88. I mean, are we all surprised? No, not at all. And IG-88 just clearanced out for 11 bucks at all U.S. Walmarts. So if you find one, grab them and pay 11 bucks and get them. But the thing is that he's shorter, he's smaller than IG-88, and he's going to be... I guess a prominent figure in the Mandalorian. I can't wait for Mandalorian, by the way. Speaking of the Mandalorian, there's a three and three quarter inch ATSC Raider, 80 bucks. It's up for pre-order at a lot of places, but they said in an interview, and I read this whole long interview, but they said that they increased the tolerances or decreased the tolerances, whatever they did to make it to where it'll stand better than previous versions, because that's been a problem. But I kind of don't believe it. 
Now, if you were out on Force Friday, this clone, clone Commander Rex was available at GameStops, and but hey, if you're after that stuff, check your GameStops. There's also the First Order Jet Trooper, and this thing looks interesting, but it feels like a flame trooper with a jetpack on it. I mean, am I right? Am I right? We'll see in episode nine. But I am super stoked about Luke Jedi Knight. I think this is the this is the best figure of the Black series for the year because the previous one sucked. I bought I got my kid like two different versions. He doesn't like him and this will be it. This looks so much like it walked out of 1983 Return of the Jedi, which is what they should have done in the first place. Why did they make a piece of garbage and pass it off as Luke Jedi Knight in the first place? So those of you who are three and three quarter inch collectors, which uh, care about the roots of S Star Wars and uh, are continuing the 1978 collection to now, uh, we get this three pack and I, you know, it's weird because it's a Dagobah collection kind of thing and you get the Dagobah Luke and a Yoda and then you get the Vader with a Luke face. Um, I don't know. I kind of got sick of these three packs when they went from being like a $12 thing or $20 thing at Target to being 50 Like, that's crazy. But whatever. I mean, people like this stuff. I do like this Jawa uh, on, on the card. I, it looks cool. It's just something that we like. I mean... Would have liked a vinyl cave, if you know what I mean, but... What, no, ceremony. Leia. She looks good. I, this isn't the first one we've gotten of her, it's, but it's the first one we've gotten on the Vintage Collection. Hasbro's gonna milk Vintage Collection for all they can, because they've realized that that's pretty much all that sells. That all sells more than, like, four figures. Shadow Trooper. They've realized the Black Trooper was one of the most popular figures in Wave 2. And here it is. You're getting a Shadow Trooper. It's got like like 10% changes to the, the, the Death Trooper. And here we are. Shadow Trooper. Okay. I'll probably get it though. Sith Trooper. Okay, we got the Sith Jump Trooper. Now we're going to get the Sith Trooper. Rise of Skywalker. I imagine there's going to be like a total... Of, by the time we're done, there's going to be five red troopers we've already announced three there'll be two more showing up somewhere right we got luke yavin ceremony and he looks good i'm happy with that here's a card back showing all of the stuff that you'll be getting if you have the bc 164 so big surprise to me was we actually have a season two of the star wars resistance that's a shocker they cancel the toy line, clearance all the toys out, no toys on the shelf, no season two toys coming. Let's make a season two show. You know what? They put all their money down on this, just like they're doing on The Mandalorian. But I think The Mandalorian's a win. I don't think this was a win. I think The Mandalorian will be. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Like, subscribe to Dear Hanger. Out.